Valentine's Day, everyone. Today we are going to be celebrating this loving holiday by naming mice after your exes and then feeding them to our snakes. Yay, Valentine's Day. About a week ago, I made a post asking our Patreon backers to nominate an ex of theirs to have a mouse named after them, and then include a statement, like an ending statement you'd like to share. And uh, we had about 250 submissions, so it was really tough to decide which 15 of them we were going to share with you today, because we have 15 rodents to feed off to various reptiles. Uh, we're gonna feed some snakes today, we're gonna feed Allie, we're gonna feed Rex, of course, some of these mice named after your exes, so we're gonna have some fun. You might be thinking that this is kind of a harsh way to celebrate Valentine's Day, but zoos actually around the country do this pretty frequently, and it's a good way to, as our Patreon back Akira put it, it's a good way to vent some emotions while still being generally harmless. Harmless in quotations, as in the uh, mouse yeah, still gets The mouse eaten. died. The mouse died, yeah, but, but it's the circle of life. Yeah, the snake still needs to eat. Exactly, and this is a good way to offer some closure for people who have gone through rough times and rough breakups. So let's start with a snake. We're gonna start with a milk snake, and we're probably gonna do Rex near the end. I think we'll save her till the end. Let's do Pumpkin, our albino Nelson's milk snake. Hi, Aww. Pumpkin. Oh, that one's name is Milky Milky Milkshake. Milky Milkshake. That's old internet. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah. Anybody gosh. got any hints from what video that's from? Wow. I wonder if anyone will know what that's from <laughs> on know. YouTube. Probably. But okay. anyway, this first mouse is getting named after Tyne's ex, Yusuki. The statement that Tyne wanted to share regarding their ex was, Yusuki. You thought that my place as a woman was in the kitchen. Well, this is the only meal I'm ever having with you. <laughs> Love time. Nice. All right. Well, Yusuki, it's your time. Oh, oh, no, come back. Pumpkin, I have food. Come back, pumpkin. Yusuki wants to say hi. Yusuki, meet pumpkin. Pumpkin, meet Yusuki. <sighs> Aw, a very polite grab from pumpkin. Aw, pumpkin wants to show Yusuki, Yusuki his home. That you, um, you had your... You yep, there you go, Yusuki. You can go into Pumpkin's home. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye Yusuki. Yusuki. All right, next we are going to feed a bull snake. Let's feed Still Naughty. Oh, Still Naughty will take care of an ex. She will definitely take care of an ex for us. We'll probably want to figure out who the ex is before opening Still Naughty's enclosure. Though. Yeah, she'll jump on out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. Okay, so we're going to name this one after Lisa's ex, Pascal. Hey, Pascal. Pascal, you said you were disgusted by how I look. You must have been blind. Aw, Lisa, I can tell you right now, you are perfect the way you yeah. are. Don't Pascal listen. is blind. Look at his face. Yeah, he is blind. Yeah. It's time for Pascal to say goodbye, I think. Yep. Or for us to say goodbye to Pascal. Yeah. Hmm, all right. <laughs> oh, she <laughs> is not, he's ready. Like, I have a hunkering for a pastel. Here's a Pascal. Pascal. You want to meet Pascal? Oh! And wow. there he goes. <laughs> she really wanted to show him his, her home. She sure did. Goodbye, Pascal. Goodbye, Pascal, somewhere in there. Oh, there you are. Goodbye. Next, we're going to mix it up and give a mouse to our snapping turtle, Chloe. Oh, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be fast, I think. Yeah, I don't know who is going to this one, but it's going to be a quick one. <laughs> it sure will. Yeah. This one, we're going to name after M's ex, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. How's it going, bud? M's message to you is... I guess I had to date a guy to find out I liked girls. <laughs> so we are going to feed Taylor to our female snapping turtle, yeah. Chloe. She'll Chloe. take care of Taylor. Hey, do you want to meet Taylor? Here he is. New boyfriend? Oh, oh she's well, hugging him. She's hugging him, yes. With, with her mouth. That's what she's doing. Okay. Chloe, he needs to breathe. Let him have to breathe. No. Uh, well, <laughs> Wrong never way. mind. <laughs> Goodbye, Taylor. All right, we are going to head into the zoo for our next snake because this Patreon backer requested that their mouse get fed to one of our green tree pythons. So we're, we turned off the lights about 25 minutes ago, yeah, so, they, so should they should be, be waking, waking up, up this time. and they should be ready for a mouse. So let's head over to the green trees. All right, so we are going to name our next mouse after Kate's ex, 
Travis. All right, so Travis. Here's Travis. Travis oh. is right there. Rip Travis. Travis, according to Kate, you're a jerk for manipulating me, then ghosting me after a year of living together when I paid for everything and took care of you since you were out of work. Could you please feed him to one of the green tree pythons? Yep, he can get fed to probably that male right there. Perfect. He's right in front of the door, and Dolores is shedding right now. Yeah, Dolores is deciding tonight's the best night to shed. Well, she's got to look good for the video. Yeah, look at her face. It's so beautiful now. Yeah, that's all we can see. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, we're wearing our Bucky's Valentine's Day shirts for this video that Ed's parents gave to us. Oh, there he goes. Aw, Travis. I guess I don't have any other words than goodbye. All right, well, goodbye one last time, Travis. Yep, Travis is, uh, no more. And it's time to move on. All right, our next one we're gonna need our big tongs for, and this one is getting named Connor after his ex, who wishes to remain anonymous. But the message to Connor. Hey, Connor. Uh, hey, Connor. Message to you goes, Connor, who not only broke up with me through Facebook, but then gaslit me into thinking I was the reason the relationship ended. And it turns out you did it to be with another girl. You really thought I'd come crawling back to you after everything you put me through. Hopefully you get fed to the rattlesnake, the only thing possibly as toxic as you. So wow. what better snake to feed uh, Connor to than Justin, our timber rattlesnake? Justin, do you want to meet Connor. Hi, say hi Connor. Oh, who could that be? Is that a new friend? Oh, that was a good wow. strike. All right, Justin. And as you all know, they do not constrict. They just strike it and come back later to eat it while the venom takes its uh, course. And so we're just gonna leave him be. So Connor has about uh, five minutes left. About five minutes, if that. Sorry, Connor. Goodbye, Connor. I'm not so sorry, actually. Aw, Justin's making friends with Connor. Aw, they love each other so yeah. much, it looks like. Well, one loves one more than <laughs> It other. might be one-sided. <laughs> All right, should we move on to the fox snake? Sure. All right, he's just right over here. And fox snake, oh man, you are everywhere right now. The mouse we have for our fox snake, we are going to now name Karen. And this was actually named after a family member. So the statement that goes with this mouse, Karen, this is your statement. Karen, thanks for the emotion emotional abuse during my childhood. It only made me stronger as an adult. From Anonymous. All right. Woo! She must have done something. Yeah. Pretty intense. Okay. Let's, well, uh, let's this is a feed her off to a fox snake. I think we should probably feed her off. Want to meet Karen? Who is this? Is this a new friend? Oh. Oh. No, definitely not a friend, <laughs> but a tasty meal. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. All right, next we are going to feed Hypno, our pixie frog. Our big boy. Our big boy, Hypno. Look at him down there. Oh, the Hypno toad. All hail the Hypno toad. <laughs> All right, we are going to name this mouse Robert. From Mrs. Menagerie, we have a message for you, Robert. You want a kiss goodbye? Here's a kiss goodbye. Oh, this is gonna be a good kiss. <laughs> Kiss goodbye for Robert. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh. Wow. That is definitely a sort of kiss. That is a kiss to remember. Goodbye, Robert. Robert's not gonna remember it. Unlike snakes, it's really easy to watch a frog eat the whole thing really quickly. It really is. All right, moving on. Next up is our dearest Allie. Yeah, Allie's all tuckered out, yeah. sitting in her basking spot. It's kind of late. Good oh. morning, I'm sorry. I know usually you're asleep right now. All right, this mouse is called well, this one goes out to the nameless ones because I couldn't be bothered to remember your names. That's how much of an impact you had on my life Aww. from Carrie. That's amazing. That is amazing. All right, to all of the nameless ones. All of the nameless ones. Allie, wake up. Wake up. You have to You, you have, have to, to eat. Oh, oh my gosh. Geez. Wow. She really didn't like the nameless ones. She did not. <laughs> Holy cow. She took care of them, Carrie. Can you imagine somebody waking you up with a hamburger and your first <laughs> response is, oh. Think, Well, that's what I would do. <laughs> if you gave me chocolate or a caribou that's coffee, true. I'd be like, oh my If gosh. I threw chocolate in bed with you, you would just explode <laughs> like that. I so. would. I would. Al, you can go back to sleep. Good night. Our next mouse, we are going to name Emily. Huh? Different Emily. <laughs> Did I submit one? Uh, no, this is from someone named Mike. Oh, okay. He said, well, you have had a mic. Yeah. That is true. This is from Mike. Oh my gosh, it might be me. Okay, so the message from Mike to Emily here is, she's still my wife, but I feel like this would be a great Valentine's Day present for her as we don't get into the holiday all that much. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good thing to name a dead mouse that's being fed to a snake after your current wife. I mean, but this will be the snake that embraces this mouse more than any other snake. So. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with that. All right.
right, Curly Fry, who is our Brooks King Snake. Would you like to enjoy Emily? This is from Mike. Oh my gosh. See, look at that embrace. Aww. How could you want anything more? She is so lovingly held in his wrap, his In his arms. arms. In his body. In his body. He's engul she's engulfed in his body. Perfect. In a loving embrace yep. forever and ever. Until he decides he wants to eat her. Yeah, we were going to mention that part. <laughs> now we're in our retail store area because yeah. it's actually the way to access our Argentine boa exhibit. Look, Terra Tiger merch. Oh yeah, that's right. We just got a bunch of it today. We're very excited. Anyway, we have a rat to feed yes. to our beautiful Argentine boa named Phoenix, who, if you remember, is the big girl who survived a house fire, yeah. and she deserves all the snacks because she's such a strong girl. Anyway, we are going to name this rat Trevor, which, by the way, mm. we have a lot of great submissions for naming exes after, or naming rats after exes, and a lot of comments about how the exes were kind of like a rat, but we didn't use any of those just because we didn't want this to be too harsh of a video. So mm -hmm. while, while we appreciate all of those submissions and we got a good laugh from them, we're gonna stick with this one yeah. instead. So what did Trevor do? All right, Trevor, this message is from your ex, Caitlin. Caitlin says, Trevor, now you can feed the snakes your lies too. I'm sure they'll find them a lot tastier <laughs> than I did. Nice. That is creative, yeah, that is. is good. All right, I'll run around so I can get a better view of this. Okay. Hey, Sharon. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, geez. Hi, I think she's a little bit hungry. And Emily's going in. Oh, Trevor. Trevor, are you gonna be a friend of Phoenix? Oh, yep, I believe Trevor and Phoenix were meant for each other. Goodbye, Trevor. <laughs> well, we are down to just three remaining mice, the three blind mice. Yep. And we are going to feed them all to the same animal in our zoo, and that's going to be Rex. Aw, Rex is getting a Valentine's Day treat. The first one we are going to name, actually, this is another family one. This is going to be to Dad. So one of these mice is Dad. Aw, This is a Okay, perfect. We, this is a message from Sharon to Dad. Dad, you were mean to me when I was a child. Thank you for smoking yourself into an early grave and missing my wedding. You deserve to be snake poo, which we are oh. switching to, you deserve to be gator poo. All right. All right, so that's mouse number one. I hope you're in a better place now, Sharon, by yep. the way. And I'm very much looking forward to this mouse turning into gator poo yeah. on his turn behalf. Yeah, into really good looking gator poo. The second mouse is going to be named Eric slash Terry for lying about absolutely everything, even his name. You do look like a liar. Eric slash Terry. And the last mouse for today's video is going to be named after Anna's ex, Cam, because you owe me $4,000 and imagining you getting eaten by a snake, or in this case an alligator, is the only justice I'll ever get. You need to pay back your debts, Cam. Come on, Cam. Well, this mouse might not be worth $4,000, but hopefully it helps put your mind at ease a little bit. Yeah. So it's only worth about like $2, $2, two dollars, two fifty, something like that. But hopefully it gives you a little bit of closure, Anna. Well, when we feed Rex, we don't want her sitting out in her basking area because then she's right in front of the door, able to jump out of the door, which happened yes. once. So we had to pick her up, put her back in. We don't want to do that. Yeah. So I actually have to call her into the pool and then Ed is going to scatter yeah. these mice in her basking area oh. to find. I'm going to throw Dad, Cam, and Terry slash some other made up Eric. name that he came up with yep. in this for her after Emily calls her into the, into the pool. And one more shot of the cool Ed in his pink shirt. Woo, Becky, it's Valentine's Day. Okay, they should really sponsor us by now. <laughs> come on, come on. Now I've got her attention. Come here, girl. Aw, good girl. You're such a sweetie, yes you are. Yeah. Okay, well, I think Ed's got the door open. So now she gets her reward for coming into the pool. Oh, yep, she's in the water. One, there's Cam, there's Dad, and there's Eric slash Terry. Oh my goodness. She uh, she brought that one in the pool with her. Oh, she's gonna drown that one first. Oh, poor dad getting drowned in the pool. All right, come on out and find Cam and Eric slash Terry. Come on, Rex. Our Twitch stream is gonna go crazy, by the way, because they don't know we're doing this. They're probably wondering why we're feeding Rex so late at night. Come on, Rex. There we go. Oh, there goes Eric slash Terry. Oh, down the, oh, and there goes Cam. All right, Rex, good girl. You still have one more in here if you want it, by the way. Eh, she'll find it later. Yay. Rex. I'm gonna try to call Rex into her pool so she can finish off Sharon's dad in the pool. Yeah, he's down there not doing so well. <laughs> who knew Sharon's dad didn't know how to swim? Uh, I, who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope that you all enjoyed watching today's video. Come on, Rex, come on in. 
And I hope that some of you were able to maybe get some closure from today's video as well. And even though we were joking around and I'll admit I had a lot of fun and I think Ed, you had a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, we both had a lot of fun doing this video and reading everybody's suggestions. And what in the world is she doing? I don't know. She's she was slowly... like putting the brakes on as she was <laughs> She's like, jumping oh no, in the oh pool. no, I don't want to slide in. <laughs> oh no, it's so scary. Maybe it's down here. I'll squat. I'll squat so she, yeah. she'll find it. There we go. Yeah. But in all seriousness, we really do hope that if you're watching this, you are in a healthy, happy, and safe relationship with someone that you can spend Valentine's Day with. Or if you're not, if you're single, that's totally cool too. Hopefully you're able to spend Valentine's Day with friends or family this year instead. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, thank you to our very generous Patreon backers for all of your support and for participating in today's Valentine's Day special. Thanks for watching and happy Valentine's Day.